Yeah, I'll take a water. Love a water. Is this recording? Yeah, this is recording. Hey, everybody, here we are doing our favorite thing. We were sitting around last night and decided, no, I don't think we're going to fish today. But Mike texted me at 6 this morning. He says, sure, it's a lovely day for fishing. And you know what? I couldn't agree more. So <laughs> here we are. Yeah, doing our favorite thing. We're out, uh, out trout fishing. So uh, yeah, we got our, uh, our depth finder all set up. We got our riggers out. And uh, the day is a beautiful day. Oh, it's perfect. So stay tuned. And uh, we're going to catch some fish. So uh, we can see now how Mike's cannonball has dropped and now he's settling in at what 40 feet? At the 40 foot mark. We see that we're in 102 feet of water. So it's it's really good to, uh, to be able to keep your eye on and know where your cannonballs are. We've lost a number of cannonballs because you get hung up in structure and, and uh, it's, it really is a drag. And, uh, so being able to see where your cannonballs are in relation to the bottom is a huge valuable tool. We've always caught a fair number of fish in this area and now that I'm mapping it out, I'm seeing significant structure here. We know that there's a hump, but uh, I'm, I'm seeing incredible structure around the whole area. Okay, so now we've changed the screen around to, uh, instead of a split screen, where we have just the, uh, the depth finder. And uh, so you can see, there's, there's a lot of activity here. That's uh, fish either leaving or, or going towards. And ice, we're seeing them in and around the 25 foot mark and at the 40 foot mark. So I think our, uh, our placements, Mike is at uh, 40 feet with a blaze and I'm at 25 with a, a spoon and fly. Now, we're marking things around 60, 70 feet. Oh, I got a fish. Oh yeah. Yep, fish on. No, oh, I forgot to move the shit there. Isn't that a beauty? Well, we'll be keeping that. Okay, so this is what we're using here today. It is a flasher. Williams flasher converted. Swivel at both ends. And a fly, a woolly bugger fly. So here we are, just cruising along, watching fish TV. Oh, you, you had a hit. It? No. Okay, so there's some useful information here. We are in 100 feet of water. The surface temperature is 71 degrees. We're traveling at 1.57 miles per hour. And the time is 11.42. Oh yeah, we've got 14.3 volts of, of uh, power. Marking some fish here. This is where I am. Mike is here and we're marking fish there as well. Fish on? All right, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Check it out. Nice little trout. Well, we'll be keeping that and eating that for lunch. Yes, siree. Yeah, so this is turning out to be a pretty good day. So uh, we've both uh, we both caught one and we both lost one. So 
Uh, Mike's fishing 40 with, uh, with a spoon, I'm fishing 25 with a fly. And it's uh, pretty much even, bang on. It's a little after 12, and we're getting hungry. We got a fish each, and we're thinking about going over to that island. You can't really see it from here, but it's directly in front. And uh, we're gonna go and have, a, have ourselves a shore lunch at the island. Well, we're gonna troll our way there. So we'll see in half an hour. And now here's a beautiful island. And that is the place of our shore lunch. Wow, here's a sweet spot. I said, here's a sweet spot. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So yes, we do have a Coleman propane stove. But that's too easy. But that's too easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our fish fry on our little gasifier stove. Now let's see if I remember how this all goes together. Yeah, that works really well. That's what we'll do. Supercharge it. Like a furnace. Oh, oh indeed. So we should find ourselves a flat rock. Well, there we have it, the gasifier stove. It's got a dual chamber, I'm not sure if you can see it, uh, but gas heats up and then spits out through these holes to get a better burn. All right, we found ourselves a good rock. And uh, just gonna check and make sure that we're... All right. So it's, it's gonna be a little bit off. <laughs> yeah, I want a lighter. <laughs> I was going to do this for your benefit. It's too windy here. <laughs> Thought I'd show you how fancy I am with my fancy tools. But Mike, he's got one of these. <laughs> wow, does that ever work well, Mike? <laughs> So it certainly doesn't get the heat that a propane stove does. <laughs> 